This is Daryl's classic take on the McDonald's Aces routine. Welcome to Jumping Jacks. All you need to do is count to three. Okay, so basically you're just going one, two, three. That's all you need to do. Amazing. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna leave the spades here, uh, the jack of spades here for now. Uh, which one of these should we use first? Diamonds. Okay. Cool. So if I uh, scoop up all the diamonds, leave them there. Okay. Just scoop up the hearts, leave those there. That leaves me with the jack of clubs. Not my first choice, but it's fine. I'm gonna leave the spade there. Okay. Now this is the interesting part, right? Where's the jack from? Touch the feet, don't touch. Get the heck out of here. I haven't finished yet, I can't. Get the heck out of here. Turn him over. Alright, let's figure it out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out one day. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> With your spectators doing most of the work, this is a really magical routine where three jacks vanish from their individual piles and assemble in one place. So if all the jacks have vanished from here, three, have a guess where they may have gone. Turn them over one by one. Spread them out. We got the jack of diamonds, the jack of clubs, the jack of spades, and the jack of hearts. How did you do that? What used to be a jack over here has now changed into the eight of hearts. This jack is now the nine of hearts. This jack is now the six of diamonds. Where, oh where, could those jacks be? Remember the leader jack, the jack of spades? Well, it has magically drawn to it the jack of diamonds, the jack of clubs, and the jack of hearts. And that's all there is to it. Insert the jumping jacks gimmick into your preferred standard face deck, and you'll be ready to go at a moment's notice. It's the perfect routine to get your audience involved in creating the magic. This is Jumping Jacks.